Hey guys, how are you? I'm going to get y'all a quick reading. I hope that you've had a great day. Are you going to have a great day? I did just finish Cancer's reading as promised. A little late as always, but it's done. <laughs> it is uploading. I might upload both of these in the morning. It's kind of late here, but I wanted to do one for you guys. All right, so let's see what's up with the collective spirit. What messages tonight are most important for the collective to know? Hmm. By the way, I'm laughing at the comments on, <laughs> on the all signs reading that I did. I saw a couple people commented. I know you I know you don't like to do these, which is so funny. Honestly, talking about the love readings, obviously it's not about love. I mean, I love love. Obviously, I love being in love. It's not about that. It's just um I do think that people get so consumed with it and so consumed with finding another person and stuff like that. And at some, you know, to some degree, we lose ourselves in that. So I just like to keep people focused on, on that part. We have plenty of people, trust me, that's going to be telling you about love every single day. So if it comes up, you know, I'll address it, but it's not personal. <laughs> Not at all. I just, I try to keep people focused, you know, on what's important. And I think when you're like that anyway, you can't help but to bring good things into your life. Okay. We have dog far away. A distant friend is thinking of you. Okay. What else, spirit? Someone has obviously got you or could obviously have you on their mind. What else? ring huh a marriage will take place either romantic or business okay mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. oh my god what am i singing mm -hmm. what am i made for wait a minute is that i think that's billy eilish is that what it says? What am I made for? Who am I made for? Wait a second. I think that's the song for Barbie or the song that they played in the Barbie video, right? What was I made for? Just something you paid for. Oh my God. What? Wait a minute. I have to go back and look at at the lyrics. I don't have my other phone in front of me either or else I would look them up. Okay, I definitely need to look them up or maybe you guys want to look them up. Just something you paid for. What was I made for? That is so interesting because I literally just talked about how we get lost, right? We're so focused outward that we end up getting lost somewhere in it all. Maybe somebody is doing some, some heavy questioning as well. I don't know. Okay. I don't even know what that's about because that has nothing to do with this, but the song started just coming out immediately. Somebody could be questioning their life. It could be questioning, what am I here for? That kind of stuff. It could be questioning a relationship, just something you paid for, but what was I made for? I, I'm going to have to go back and look at those lyrics now because that, that actually just started coming through. Indecisive, uh, indecisiveness, allowing your, oh my God, spirit is just so clear tonight. Look at this, the will, indecisiveness and allowing your life to ramble aimless, uh, aimlessly. And just think about the lyrics I literally just said. And the words that I just said about really evaluating their life. Okay, this could be you. This could be somebody, obviously, that is around you. Maybe somebody is getting married. Maybe somebody getting married is making someone else question things as well. Somebody could also want marriage too or be coming into some kind of partnership or something with someone else. Somebody's uh, indecisiveness. To make a plan to move forward, to maybe cut strings or cut cords or something like that could have them feeling pretty stuck. But I guess because I'm singing the song now, I'm kind of feeling like that song sounds kind of sad too when I'm singing it. So maybe it has them feeling kind of sad or blue or a bit down or questioning 
their life. What am I doing? You know, what am I doing here? Or I feel down when I'm saying it. I feel like there's almost like a sadness around that. Hopefully this is not about someone getting married and this making someone feel kind of down, blue, something like that. Like, why is this not happening for me or something? I don't know. This is interesting. All right, let's keep going. I'd have to actually look at the words, but those are the ones that I'm getting. Obviously, I'm focusing a lot on the feelings as well. Look, I love this opportunity or windfall. So we see the, the ring here with a marriage or a, a business, okay, or romantic, I guess. Not even a marriage necessarily. It could be a commitment or some kind of business partnership could be forming. And now we're seeing some kind of opportunity here. That could be presenting itself. That's a carrot. Somebody could be dangling the carrot. Family wishes come true. That's a well. Hmm. You know, and maybe that's a wishing well, too. Maybe it's something that someone here has been really wanting, thinking about, trying to bring into fruition here. I don't know. I almost feel like we got a couple of different things that is going on here. You have someone that's thinking about you, somebody that is thinking fondly is what I'm thinking about. As it relates to another person. But why do I feel like this could be a person, whoever this is, could be the person as well. So they could be watching you. Are they watching you maybe move into something that is beneficial for you in some way? It could be um, a marriage. It could be some kind of business or something like that. As they've been sitting back kind of indecisive, maybe allowing um, their life to kind of ramble. That's what the card says, ramble. Okay, this will is actually stuck, so it's not going anywhere. You're getting something. There's, I don't know what it is. It could be, you know, with the family over here, family wishes come true. With the well here, we see the carrot here. You're getting something. I think it involves some kind of prosperity or some kind of opportunity. I do feel like some kind of money is involved for some reason. And that could be a win. That could be, obviously, um... An inheritance, I guess. It could be the passing down of a business. It could be anything like that. Okay, let's get some. Let me put these down. Oh, that's funny. I just, one of the cards that flew out and actually flipped, the only one that flipped says involvement with the law here. Maybe that's what it has to do with. Maybe there's something that's going to be ruled in your favor where that's going to give you some kind of financial windfall or something like that hmm. or some kind of legal matter that's going to do that perhaps this person too that is thinking about you has some kind of involvement with the law to some degree this person that feels like their life is just kind of rambling i definitely feel like i'm dealing with a person here why do i feel like this is the person that's thinking about you though so they could be at a distance. This does say far away. This is somebody that's very fond of you. It's a dog. So maybe someone who you consider a friend. Or they consider you a friend. I keep saying fond of you. So I don't know that you actually talk too much. But they're watching something good. I feel like happen in your life. You'd be a light unto others too. I guess I'm saying that because I'm feeling like maybe you're kind of a positive influence to some degree. And someone's kind of watching you. They could be watching you transform your life, but they could also just be watching good things come into your life and really rethinking their life and kind of what they have going on, especially as it relates here to building businesses and creativity and things like that, because you definitely have something big that is happening for you. And I don't know what this is. Let's see if we can get some cards and see. I don't know exactly what this is, but it just feels to me like it's something that can actually be big. You know what? I'm going to do my story cards, I think, tonight. Let's see what else comes up before we start the tarot. Spirit, what else for the collective, please? 
was done. Okay. What else? Explorer. Okay. Called. Okay. Yeah, you definitely have something big that's happening around you. This has to do with your wisdom. This has to do with your magic. You could be an artist. I see that coming out. Something artistic that you're definitely doing here. Whatever this is, it could have you on this journey here where you are exploring. Now, you could be exploring yourself. This this person actually has a compass in their hand. It makes me feel like you're out here exploring. You could be traveling, doing different things. But this is something that you feel called to do. So this is definitely about some kind of life purpose that you feel like you, you have. And, and I believe that you do have. I believe this is it because this card says call. And then we're seeing some kind of and what's interesting is the ring here says either romantic or business and we see someone that is that is taking someone else kind of up this hill to something somebody could be a musician too something about your magic okay so a couple things are standing out to me this is about your wisdom this is about your magic this is about your ability to Maybe to create in some sense. We are creating here because whatever it is, I feel like you're being called to take it somewhere different or to take it to a higher place, so to speak. Whatever this opportunity is, whatever this um, this carrot, okay, so to speak, that is being dangled in front of you is going to lead to something really big for you. So maybe you're sharing your wisdom or maybe it's just because you have gleaned some kind of wisdom. You now understand who you are or what you should be doing here. You could be doing something quite artistic here. Something that actually allows some sense of expression is what I'm seeing. Magic makes me feel, it's not really illusions. It just makes me feel like you're doing something that... So you could be actually doing something that is more it's magic, right? So there's people don't know how it's happening, but it's happening. I don't know how you're doing this, okay? But you are doing it and it's making a difference or, or we see the changes or we see the masterpiece, right? That is being built here in some way. Okay, you definitely have some, and I just talked about this, how someone could be watching things that you're doing and kind of the, the landscape of your life and what you've been able to build. I said you're a light, right? And, and I feel that within these cards as well. So whatever you're doing, I think it's because you feel called to do it. And I feel like, like this is growing. Even when I'm looking at the will again, you know, this will is obviously stuck. I'm feeling almost like a snowball effect of something actually getting larger and larger here. Okay. All right. Let's see. Spirit, what is this about for the collective, please? I know I keep saying this, but I'm always amazed at the decks. <laughs> I have so many decks, but I'll just reach for decks as I'm meditating and focusing on the reading I'm about to do. And I love the stories that they end up painting. All right, spirit. I don't really use the same ones in every reading, so as you might have noticed. All right, or in all the readings. All right, spirit, show me for the collective. The collective's energy and all of this, please. Oh, I got something. All right, I'm gonna let that fall out. But yeah, okay. Three of cups. What else? All right, this one's trying to come out. That actually flipped kind of sideways. Interesting. Okay, what else? So this is something others are helping you with or you're influencing others in some way. Four of Wands, Six of Cups. We have the Moon. 
six of wands that you're going to be recognized for whatever this is. I'm interested in why my nine of pentacles is sideways here. This may be showing me that you're not, maybe you don't feel quite independent at this particular time. I don't know why this is definitely not what I'm seeing here. This could also be telling me that maybe not where you need to be. So you haven't actually seen this yet. You haven't seen the well yet. You may still be in this point where you're building up to. You may be in this point where you're feeling called and you're starting to explore, right? And gain more wisdom to do whatever this is that you're doing. Clearly, there is an uptake and some kind of shift that is happening all around you here. There could be some ties here to... I feel like other people that are actually help, uh, helping you, supporting you, celebrating you in some way, shape, or form. I'm going to say this. This is not going to apply for all of you. If there is some marriage or partnership happening, because I am seeing a three of cups in between a six of cups, and then I have my nine of coins, pre-empress here laid to the side. Makes me feel like somebody's trying to take you off the market here. Or maybe, maybe they are taking you off the market. That could be part of what is happening here. Maybe that is part of the calling. Okay. Now, you could be digging back into the past. It's interesting because this could very well be about family, the Six of Cups energy. We see the well as well. This could be something that you're working on with your family. Family wishes coming true. Okay, because I, I definitely feel like you feel supported here. But I also felt with this call, uh, card initially, you don't feel like you have everything you need quite yet. I'm not quite independent or I'm not quite on my feet enough to do this, but I feel this calling so strong to do it. The opportunity is definitely presenting itself. And I feel like you definitely think that you need to be, you need to be focused on that or you need to be moving towards that in some sense. And you're right. Okay. So maybe you're moving to a new area. Maybe you could be buying a new house. Maybe there's some kind of celebration going on as well. There could also be a wedding, as we know, with this particular card. Huh. Let me go back to the beginning. What was I saying in the beginning? Maybe seeing someone else get married is causing a bit of a stir here. Like, what am I doing? My life here is kind of rambling uh, aimlessly maybe that's actually kicking someone here into high gear you know what i have these opportunities i just need to pursue them right getting something started it could definitely be kicking something up a notch i think what you don't see is that you have something that's waiting for you that's going to bring you some sense of again i feel like support around you, people supporting you, maybe some sense of notoriety, certainly putting some eyes on you is what I feel, but I feel like people are working with you or supporting you in some way. There's definitely a victory here that you don't see. You don't see that yet. I think you're so deep here. It looks to me like in your passion and spreading whatever this magic is that you have or making something look like magic, that could just simply be your manifestations. I'm out here following my bliss, I'm exploring, I'm having a good time, or I'm seeing different things, I'm gaining a lot of wisdom here, right? But people are watching you maybe make something out of nothing. You don't even have all the funds that you need or the finances or anything like that, just passion and drive. But you feel called and that's why why you're doing it here. And I feel like artistically here, okay, either really, like literally or metaphorically here, you're painting something quite beautiful for others to see or someone to follow, others to follow in some way, shape or form. Okay, let's keep going here. What else for the collective, please? What does the collective need to know? Seven. Lovely. Look, you you're definitely moving towards something, hands down. 
hangman energy here as well. You could be a person that generally spends a lot of time alone. Hmm. Let me clarify. Ten of Cups in reverse. Let me look at this. This is so interesting because I feel like, oh, wow. You know, we talked about this family last night, right? Not supporting someone. Not supporting someone's decision. And now I'm getting this here on the end as well. I feel like you're standing your ground or whoever I'm talking to here. Someone here is definitely standing their ground here. All right. It's creating a massive transformation within somebody. And it's almost like taking a step out in this direction, leaving. So somebody's definitely leaving something behind. Okay. This is that rambling aimlessly. It's almost like, I, and I honestly, I don't know why suddenly I'm feeling an energy of somebody that's kind of all over the place. Can't really make a decision. This is a person that maybe has not settled down or maybe they don't take, uh, maybe they don't, maybe they're even non-committal, honestly. Maybe I don't want to settle down or I don't feel like I can settle down here because I have, you know, I'm doing all these other things, but I think it has to do more so with someone not feeling interesting. What was I made for? Wow. Okay. This is all weaving together. Someone feeling like, I don't really know my place. I don't really know the meaning. Somebody's going through a massive shift, a massive shift. And I think they're feeling it reverberate through their life, through their emotions. Somebody's opening their eyes to other possibilities. This could be a person that's a bit of a, uh, this could be a person that overworks for sure. They could see people, but maybe they don't commit in a sense. I feel like I can't make up my mind about things. Almost like I'm jumping all over. So I might be that person that says, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll go with you on Friday and then come Friday. You don't see me or something like that. I don't know why I'm getting that. I feel a sense of flightiness. Someone is very flighty. So I think that whatever is happening is shifting somebody to a degree that they are ready to make a big decision. Or maybe they've watched somebody else kind of change things around in their life. And now they're ready to do that in some respects themselves. I do feel somebody is getting away from an area, okay, or a situation that could have held them back and maybe is trying to hold them back in a sense because I'm very guarded here, right? But I'm also standing my ground. Because I feel like I know what's a, what awaits me here, okay? And that transformation for me is a very big deal. So, But in order to get that, I have to get away from whatever these troubled waters are. Now, I don't know what they are, what's, what's considered troubled, or these murky waters, or something here that's kind of holding me. Okay, now, look, the way I'm doing this, I almost feel like quicksand. So I feel like it's kind of holding me down, or swallowing me up, in a sense, to where I can't get out. I have to do something about it. Listen, this move is going to bring some kind of balance, okay? Some kind of karmic justice, perhaps, as well, into play here. It just took you moving. That's what I feel. It just took someone here to kind of change the dynamic, change their mindset, make a move. Okay, I almost said not be afraid. So maybe somebody has been afraid to do that. Somebody's trying to pull their life, I feel like, out of a bit of disarray and get it on the right track. And they might be doing that by just moving, like, just, I, I need to explore. I need to go out here and see the world and see what's out here. This could be a person that's never even left their hometown. So there's some kind of really passionate new beginning that appears to be coming here. Okay, this is that opportunity, that carrot being dangled here, right? That is going to present itself. And it may be coming after a long time. Is what I'm feeling here. But I also feel like. That, I'm going to go back to the wisdom card. I feel like in this hangman energy. There's some kind of wisdom is being used. To make this decision here. But I think it may require some kind of. You're not going to have the backing. Somebody here is not going to have the backing. I don't see this as cutthroat as last night, but they're not going to have the backing perhaps of, of people around them. And it may even break some hearts, whatever they're doing. But you know what? Actually, no. You know what I'm getting with this? The hangman 
It is this wisdom that's being gained. It is this insight that is being gained from being in this position regarding this. Okay. How do I get to this right here? What do I need to do? I think this person is, is understanding they're not supported in a situation that's around them. They're not emotionally fulfilled. They're not happy in that situation here. They're tired of juggling, okay, in a sense, everything and keeping their life here in some kind of, you know, where it's actually not moving or it's just rambling aimlessly, as the card says. This is somebody who's making a concrete decision, I feel like, in plans to move forward. Okay. All right, Spirit, what else? Look at that. <laughs> High Priestess. All right. What else? So this could be spiritual. Somebody, I, just, I talked about someone changing, and I do feel that. I definitely feel like someone is changing drastically. The light is coming on with someone. This is why I can't do this. This is why I can't settle down. This is why I can't make decisions. This is why I'm running around like, you know, like I'm on this hamster wheel, so to speak. I think this person, somebody here who, this could be you. I keep talking about it like it's another person. This is probably somebody in the collective for sure because it's coming out in the energy. I think they're definitely trying to go within. I think they're seeking higher guidance in some way. Okay. High priestess energy. Uh, this is a really intelligent person is what I feel. It's just a matter of grounding themselves, seeing things clearly and clearing out some of the debris as well. Okay. To get them out of this. Because I feel like this person stays or has stayed in this place of swords for a while. But now we see the light is actually coming on. Third eye right here again. And we also see the high priestess. They're getting it. There is an awakening. There's something that is actually taking place that is pulling them out of this. And, and actually, and even out of fear to be able to make this decision here. Somebody could be quite gifted creatively is what I feel as well. I don't know if they make music. I, I don't know why I'm saying music. It could be anything, obviously. Yeah, there it is. Walking away right there. We have someone walking away, period. They're walking away from whatever this lifestyle is. They're walking out. They're ready to explore. They're ready to create their, their magic, okay? Whatever they're going to do, this could actually bring, some, honestly, this could make someone famous, all right? Um, not that, you know, you don't even, this isn't, even, well, first of all, I'm not even going to go there because I know people take issues sometimes. Well, it's not about money. It's not about, first of all, this is about the energy that's coming out in the cards. So let's just read it how it is, okay? This could definitely make someone famous, all right? Are famous in their own right to some degree or get them notoriety you know all, there's going to be an appreciation for whatever is transpiring here is what i feel yeah this is incredible actually it's funny that that's actually a mouse on top of those four cups because i'm really feeling father of cups energy here maybe i'm talking to a water sign Maybe I'm talking to someone who feels emotional about whatever this is, about leaving or about starting anew, or maybe they just feel emotional because, and in a good way, it's an excitement, right? An emotional state of, wow, you know, how did I not see all this before? You know, basically the world is my oyster. I can put myself out there in any way that I want to, and it's wide open to me. I feel like I'm kind of, I'm coming into a newness about myself. And I think this exploration is only going to help that here to build. And my cat snoring. <laughs> All right, let's see. I think I might just go ahead and close this out. 
I'm afraid it's already at 30 minutes. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and close this out. If there's a continuation, we know it will come up in the next reading. So, so here, let's get some advice here for whoever this is. I love this. I love the sense of freedom. I love that someone is dropping the fears. Maybe it is of the status quo or what it, it doesn't even have to be. It could be just be problems that they've had. Okay, that they've held on to and, and actually ascertaining some kind of freedom here to move forward. All right, go back to the heart of who you truly are. There you will find peace. Look at your life in its entirety. Acknowledge any old wounds and release them. Just came out of my mouth. Use whatever they taught you as added strength. Keep moving forward with a renewed sense of confidence. Okay, well, that is definitely confirmation. Let it go. A new world really awaits you. Okay, it's just a matter of you letting go of the things that have been keeping you bound. Okay, keeping you stuck, keeping you in this place of rambling aimlessly. Okay, and not pushing you forward. Make that decision. Make a plan and get going. Okay. It's time to stop letting worry rule you. Instead, get excited about your future and all it will bring. What energy and emotion you put out comes back to you. <laughs> With a little conscious effort on your part, that happy ending can and will be yours. Believe that. I, You know what? Spirit is singing loud and clear tonight. I hope you guys got the message. I will talk to you all soon. Have a wonderful evening. Bye.